These are the Corsair RS140 Max. And considering all the Corsair fans we had on the channel like recently, it was pretty obvious that we would just end up here eventually. Because these are pretty important contestants. If you remember the RS120, they were incredibly quiet. Now I want to know, if we take the 140mm RX140, remove all the IQ clutter and replace it by a 600mm long PWM cable, make the frame out of LCP as well because for good measure and because you know hammer and we make the whole thing 30 millimeter thick instead of 25 with extreme rubber around the corners because why not how will the end result turn out but it's not that simple. If we look at the 120mm line, going from RX120 to RS120, though they are like very different lines, but they are kind of very identical, the impeller design is almost identical. The fan blades may have become a little bit thinner and pointier, but that's it. For the 140mm line, however, it's a bit different. The tips have still become much sharper, but the blades also seem thinner, like, like in a width thing. A bit like what Be Quiet did when going from Silent Wing Force, like from 120 to 140s. Anyway, the 140mm version of the RS Max fans are capable of spinning up to 1600 rpm while it's pushing up to 104 CFM at up to 2.4 mm of H2O. And now put that next to the RX140. Thanks to the added thickness, they are now pushing a whole lot more air, but probably due to the 100 rpm slower rotation, they are pushing it at a much lower static pressure. But anyway, we put this, comparing all of the RS and RX fans from Corsair, that's going to be a hell of an interesting comparison. We benchmark fans in two different ways. Once on a case fan simulator, a wooden box where we use two fans to recycle the air within and measure the results by looking at the CPU temperature underneath a passive Noctua P1. And for cases specifically, we benchmark both 140s and 120s on the same setup. And I do believe it is absolutely fair because depending on the fan, we have different sized holes. So it's not like half the 140mm fan will be blocked off. And let's be honest, that's exactly the choice you would be looking at if you are choosing case fans. The average case supports both 120s and 140s. Hence, it's important in my opinion, to also benchmark both using the same setup. For radiators, we blow through a 10 FPI 60 mm radiator and we measure the performance by calculating the water temperature above ambient. And for reds, of course, it's 140 mm only. Letting them spin at their max 1600 rpm on our case simulator made the CPU stay at 43.2 degrees C above ambient. Compared to the smaller RS120 Max version, we saw the same thing that happened with the RX120 and RX140 line. The 140mm fan performed worse, although it should have been better due to the added CFM by spec. But it didn't. That said, unlike the RX fans, for these, the performance difference was so marginal, it could not get any smaller without saying they are now performing identical. Compared to the RX140 fan, it became hella interesting, because even if the RS140 Max is spinning slightly slower, it is pushing slightly more air. The thing that makes this interesting to me is still the loss of static pressure, because Maxes are pushing everything a lot softer, which isn't noticeable at all in the benchmark results. But if we ignore the spec sheet values, the 30mm thick RS, 140 max performs like a charm. Of course, it's not a chart topper, but at 43.2 degrees C above ambient, it lands in the upper range, outperforming a bunch of other important fans. And what's most interesting here, it does so at only 1600 RPM. And if you remember what this did to the smaller fan, it is not particularly loud. In fact, the 140mm RS140 is one of the best noise to performance fans we have had so far. This thing is so much not loud, it outperformed 
everything here. The RX 140, the RX 120, the RS 120 Max, everything, that thing is so quiet, it's not even funny anymore. And the ratio that it keeps up is really good. And what makes me really happy is my dB meter is actually good enough to make a distinction between the 120s and 140s, because by spec, the 140s are supposed to be marginally louder. And yes, they are, but they will become a lot quieter a lot sooner. And even if at the very top the 120s are marginally better, the 140s very quickly take over that spot and keep it until the very end. So as for case fans, these RX 140 Maxes are just brilliant. And over to Radiator, there the RX 140 Maxes are not that brilliant, but that's more due to the minimalistic list rather than how they perform. At 10.6 degrees C above ambient, the water is kept at a slightly better spot than the Arctic P14 ARGB did, which is kind of still impressive considering they are spinning like 300 RPM quicker. But on the other hand, they also outperform the Nokia NFA14, which is just equally impressive, but compared to the thinner and quicker RX 140s, they do fall behind. Yeah, that, that's just not as good as for cases. I do all the noise numbers separate for reds and cases. Uh, one is just like free air movement and the other one is with, with a red behind and I do that because reds do change the noise created by a fan, sometimes by a lot and sometimes not by a lot. And it even depends, sometimes it becomes louder and, and other fans just become quieter. There is really no rule to that, it's just random as per fan, that's why we always do it. And the RS 140 Max, they fell behind quite significantly compared to the position they had before. But they are still not in a, in a bad spot, they still outperform the RX 140s in Noise 2 performance, given not in like max performance, not by a long shot, and they still outperform the A14s from Noxia in the same way. But compared to the P14 ARGBs or the Silent Wing 4 Pros, yes, not quite. So these are amazing case fans, like really, really, really good case fans. They still got that speed ramping issue, just like the other RX and RS fans, all from Corsair, but it's it's not that severe anymore because on, on the max version, A, they are just not that loud and B, the max fan speed isn't that big, so like the change in RPM isn't that huge. So for me, it's not a deal breaker in this case anymore and I could just throw them onto the curve of the CPU package and it, it's going to be fine. But what about the price? Oof, man, I... I do really like these, but like, like, out, out, like out of all of the RS and RX fans, I would personally go with the RS 140 Max for cases, no doubt there. And for RS, I believe they are, there are better fans around, but if I would do like a next really, really quiet build, it's probably stuffed with a bun bunch of those. But uh, 40 bucks a fan is just heavy, like even for Nokia standard. Like the noise to performance ratio on cases is, is, is kind of an argument, but 40 bucks is just, it's really heavy. But okay, this should be all for the RS140 Max, one of the best noise to performance ratio for cases I have ever seen. And at this point, a huge thank you to Corsair for sending them over. Oh, on a side note, we have a Discord server, so if you wanna join, the link is down below. And we got channel membership, so if you are planning to sell your soul for an RG poop emoji, that's one way to go. But if not, I'm also releasing the content to all members two or three weeks in advance. Except for the NDA stuff, because, you know, I, I don't want to get sued. Additionally, can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but it will also serve to re-explain Corsair the difference between min and max. With the RS140 max, I'm still not sure that they really understand what max stands for. Thank you for watching, and if you want to continue, have a look at our take on the RS120 maxes. Not as impressive as the 140s, if you ask me, but still very impressive. Anyway, hope to see you on the next one. Bye-bye.